So I said, okay, we'll, we'll shoot the whole scene from inside the car. And diabolically, I knew that that would make them approve it, and I also knew that it would make it worse because we're now inside the car with Commissioner Gordon as his daughter hits the windshield. Wow, 25 years of Batman the Animated Series. You guys are, are here kind of celebrating it. You just announced the debut of a box set. On Blu-ray. What's it like visiting the show that had such a great impact on both of your careers? It's interesting. You don't really pay attention to, to time going by until you're at a convention and then some 35-year-old some guy will come up and say, hey, you know, I, I used to come home from school every day and watch your show. And I'm like, whoa, that's really weird. Yeah, it just kind of makes you feel old. It's funny that this show's had such an impact, right, culturally, because you almost missed out on it because you were looking to get out of the animation business. Right, and Gene McCurdy, who was the president of Warner Brothers and was good friends of mine, so she took me out to lunch and said, we got this Batman coming. We'd like you to come on board. I said no because, I, you know, Batman usually for kids TV is done uh, very tamely. As you know, because you worked in the Super Friends. Right, yes. Where you couldn't punch anyone. Where you couldn't punch it, couldn't do anything. I was dealing- You couldn't make a fist. So uh, she said we, we could, I could have the fights I want and the gunfire I wanted. And uh, I saw Bruce's trailer. And then there was, there was no way I was not coming over, so. Bruce, tell me about when you sold the powers that be on the dark film noir tone that you wanted for the, for the show. Was that an easy sell? It was, for the most part. I mean, thank God we were riding the coattails of the, the first Tim Burton movie, which was a huge hit. And nowadays, we're like saturated with superheroes, right? Yeah, the that was a phenomenon. Everywhere. But back then, Lines it was, it was, the block. It yeah, was yeah. a phenomenon. So that was a big, big plus. You know, we said, oh yeah, we want to do it kind of like the movie. Even though we really didn't want to do it like the movie, we kind of wanted to do it our own way. But, but going with that darker tone, which was the Tim Burton movie had, that was a really big help to us. I've read that there were some uh, changes that you were forced to make to certain things like the death of Robin's parents. Yeah. And I mean, that episode, the classic. Do you think having those limits, do you think it pushed you guys to create some things that were even better? They specifically said we couldn't see Robin's parents falling to their death on the trapeze. So it was, you still got the idea, but it was done, it was much more artistic and it was much more um, interesting than actually just seeing his parents fall to their deaths. A another extreme instance of where their notes actually made something more violent was a, a later, uh, you and I are talking about. The, the episode opens with Batgirl falling off this building and she smashes into the, the hood of, of Commissioner Gordon's car. And they said, no, 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 you can't do this. That's just way too much. So and I said, okay, well, we'll figure out a way to do it. So I said, okay, we'll, we'll shoot the whole scene from inside the car. And diabolically, I knew that that would make them approve it. And I also knew that it would make it worse because we're now inside the car with Commissioner Gordon as his daughter hits the windshield. Oh, that's horrible. I know. And, <laughs> see, you're talking about that. I know. <laughs> and, and they said, oh, yeah, no, that's better. We'll go with that. And I'm like, yes. 